Here we are, it's a little after four o'clock. As you can see in a second, the sun's in a great position for the panels. You probably can't hear, well you can, I'm sure you can hear it, but the pool filter is running and uh, the pool sweep is running. I just shocked the pool so it's a little cloudy. But there's two filters running. And the other thing on the system is it goes to an inverter and that converts it from DC to AC. Um, I believe it's 400 volts. I'm not, I'm not real sure. I'm trying to find out where it says when it displays what the actual kilowatts are now that it's putting out. Because it displays, that's 87 pounds for the day. Now I don't know if it's 40, 51, I don't know if that's the kilowatts it's at now. It's a 6.4 system. Or if that 51.4, that might be at 5, 5100 kilowatts. Um, today I've generated 30 kilowatts, I guess. And then it just cycles through all this information. But this is an inverter. Comes down there. It's a 24 volt system, as I said. It comes down from there, goes in the inverter, and then it goes out, and it goes down, bypasses that sub panel, has nothing to do with that, and then goes out to the main house. So it comes out the other side of the wall. Right there, we had this trench dug knowing we were going to do something like this when we had the house remodeled. Goes under there and goes on the other side. So here we are at the main panel. There is a AC disconnect switch. That's in case anyone wants to service the system from the power company. And then there's also a, a breaker here to turn the system down. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing is the meter. It's a digital one, but you see those bars down there? It's actually going backwards, even with the pool filter running, the two motors. The AC isn't on in the house, but uh, my computer's running and it's probably a light or two on. But as you can see, the meter's going backwards. They're supposed to swap out the meter in a few weeks for one that's properly, cal properly calibrated to spin backwards.